Yo guys, how's it going, Mad Gas here? And for today's video, we are discussing the new mod tools that are due to be released pretty soon for Black Ops 3. Now, if you don't know what mod tools are, it is a collection of like, uh, well, tools, programs, and editors that allow you to create your own maps and features for certain game types and this type is obviously black ops 3 so we are getting the mod tools of black ops 3 now the only time we ever actually had mod tools for a call of duty game was world at war now a lot of people had made little modifications here and there so you can do mods with black ops black ops 1 and 2 and stuff like that but it mainly was orientated to world at war and obviously like i say they made updates as well so you could use the perk machines and model files from black ops 1 and 2 and put them into the world at war engine and it was good it worked it pretty much did a lot of good things a lot of cool maps came from that but now treyarch and activision are now releasing a new pack that allows us to edit and modify and simply create our own custom Call of Duty Black Ops 3 styled maps. Now, we as like YouTubers and zombie fans and Call of Duty fans, not many of us were privileged to actually play with these mod tools as they are still in the alpha or beta test stage, I think they are. Not entirely sure when they're going to be released, but a small select few users, mainly of the modern community, were allowed to test these out. Now, a few little videos have been leaked around on YouTube and that. Now, I'm not entirely sure what the copyright is about posting these videos due to the fact that it is strictly alpha and they're only sent out for testing purposes and not general release just yet. So I'm not going to play any of the videos, but I'll show some images now on screen of one of the videos that got le released yesterday. And it shows you the amazing capabilities of what these mod tools can actually do. So if you're not familiar with actually map creation and editing, all it is, it's like a, it's like a creating a map is simply just placing blocks and manipulating blocks and entities to create like your surroundings and stuff. So you would start off with a giant block, you would carve it up into different shapes and sizes to create the giant floor, kind of what you're seeing now on screen. And this is from the new map editor and it's called Black Radiant or Radiant Black Edition. So it's kind of taking like the whole idea because the editing tools the tools that are to create maps is called radiant for world at war now they've also got the black ops version and it's called black radiant sorry radiant black edition now these images you can see that looks pretty pretty awesome now this is not to say it's going to be an easy process to actually create your maps it really really isn't guys because i've done map creation before especially when uh half-life and half-life 2 was around i was doing a lot of map creation on there for counter-strike and stuff and to build a map, it takes a lot of, lot of effort because literally everything is made up of blocks and polygons and different vertexes and stuff like that. So it's literally, like I said, you would get a block. If you want to make a flat floor, you would get a block, flatten it out and put a texture on it. It would look bland. It really, really would. But the images you're seeing on screen now, you can see that the guys create this texture that looks like a river. He's carved it to look like a stream. He's filled it with water. And then you can go into this entity selection program, object select and stuff like that, asset manager as it's called, and you can pick like sort of things like rocks and boulders and trees and place them around on your map and it actually makes it a lot easier by the looks of this it makes it a lot easier than what it used to be of actually having to craft your own shaped rocks and stuff like that so this is one way that everybody's going to get into the community and actually make custom maps i for one i'm jumping on this as so soon as it's released because i'm definitely going to be sticking the banana colada perk into the map which i've been creating for a while now and here's a little sneak peek of what it looks like in the real life version so there you go, that is the banana colada. But yeah, mod tools are coming. There's a lot of cool videos out. I will leave a link in the description down below where you can actually check out the full video to the images I've shown today. But it's absolutely awesome. If you are hyped for mod tools and you're going to be creating some awesome new maps with this once it releases, let me know in the comment section down below. Hit the like button on this. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and continue to dropkick your grandma.